Hey YouTube, Real 115 here, bring you another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. Now, today the video is not going to have any gameplays, man. I'm just going to go over what's going on in the world of Duel Links at the moment. But anyway, let's just hop over to the game and see what's going on. Okay, for one right now, this is one that I'm personally going to be working on just because I want this card in my collection in Duel Link. And my name is Real 115 so I have to absolutely collect this card. And next is Red Eyes Darkness Dragon from the Tech Duel Tournament event. Now, if you don't know what Red Eyes Darkness is, basically, I guess the closest thing you say is Buster Blader, the fusion I can't think of the full name off the top of my head. But he gains 300 attack for every dragon monster in your graveyard. And he kind of plays in the role of classic Red Eyes decks that basically say, Bring back the OG because the only way you can summon him is by attributing the original Red Eyes Black Dragon from your Cloud of Hill. And so I am going to be making a deck based around him. So look forward to that. And also, if you are a Heroes player that really runs Neos a lot, you have the Equip spell Neos Force. It's equipped can only, this card can only be equipped to Elemental Hero Neos, which Neos alias account because he can. Make his name become Elemental or Neos, and then you can also do mass chains, etc., to actually use this card effect. So, for at least one turn, because it's only good for one turn anyway. But that's besides the point. It gains 800 attack when it's destroyed, a monster by battle, and send it to the graveyard, and flip them to your opponent equal to half the original attack of destroyed monster. In the graveyard, during the end phase, shuffle this card into the deck. So, yeah, you get to. Destroy, if you destroy a monster in your opponent's field, you get to deal with that monster to attack once your opponent has damage. And then on top of that, your monster that's equipped with this gains 800 specifically Neos, which will bring them to 3,300. And then of course we have, oh. And then of course in the event, these are repeat rewards right here. But we got Kachakuchi Dragon, uh, takes two level four monsters to go into. Once per turn, when this card destroys an opponent monster by battle, you can send it to the graveyard. You can detach one material from this card to make it attack again. Yeah, Star Blast. There used to be tons of shenanigans with this card. It's not as good as it once, and I believe it's on the limited list, so you can only run either one or two copies of it anyway now. But you can basically adjust your monster's level, but people wasn't using it for that. They was basically using it for use of skills. So, yeah. Then we got Emperor Maju Gazette. Uh, this card cannot be normal from the set. Just like an Egyptian God card, you have to tribute three monsters. This card can at attack the company combined of all three monsters tribute for a summon. But that, oh, the other good thing about this card is your opponent cannot activate card to effects during the battle phase. So, yeah, he's pretty powerful. It's just you're tributing three monsters to get him. And as you know, in Duel Links, you have three monsters on. And there are ways to shortcut two pull this off but it's just his attack points won't be much if you use the shortcuts but it's going to be hard work to play this card but it's something i believe that's worth farming for at least okay and then also right now what's going on in duel links is the dual crest event uh basically this is just an event that's really good for getting gems you just simply play any piece of content in the game and you go down the tower earning chests basically giving you gems but the only prize card that's actually for the grind, which not really worth grinding for unless you bring or uh, making a burn deck, which will be Stealthfer. Um, it's a level three dark monster, Ring Beast. Once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense. When this card is flip summoned, it inflicts all the points of damage to your opponent. So, if anything, you'll probably be running this card in a sub terror deck because it will help you keep up with the gamut of when a card is flipped face up or face down. To special summon one out. So you might be able to run it in sub terrors to keep them with the whole special summon gimmick. If you go and free to play sub terrors at least. And then the last piece of news I have for you today is that it's currently double XP for character XP. So if there's a character you want to level up, like for right now you see I'm leveling up Seto Kaiba to try to get his very last part, the Melody of Awakening the Dragon, because I have not done that yet. But anyway, you can just go to any world or whatever and level up any character that you need to level up for a certain card or etc. But anyway, I, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. 
and I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm about to go from the tech duel event so I can actually get where I was starting to strike for a video since I missed out on the flying gale event. But anyway, I'm out. Peace.